Hi, welcome to Nation's Finds. Um, I'm Mandy, and I'm an online reseller with eBay and Poshmark. I'm here to talk about today international shipping and why people are afraid of shipping internationally um, and things that you can do to protect yourself um, from your fears. And I love shipping internationally. I, it's not a lot of sellers will do it. And it's an untapped market that I'm, I get a better view. But uh, how do I say this? Um, in the U.S., there's thousands and thousands of, our, of us sellers. But for somebody who's outside of the country, there's only probably hundreds of sellers who will ship internationally. So there's more of a demand on my products because there's not as many sellers. Um, so don't be afraid of selling internationally. I had a, an odd, not an um, escalation or um, customer complaint this week. And so I wanted to cover it because it covered a lot of things about international um, and a lot of things why people are afraid of it. I was not afraid of this customer. I was not afraid of the situation because I had protected myself and um, my money to make sure that we would be covered. And so um, this customer had ordered a Mark Jacob watch it was listed originally at $69.99 and it was on sale for $42 I believe it was $42 um and they purchased it now I did I do offer global shipping this global shipping program with eBay but it's a little really expensive and I also offer um shipping through me direct um and this one was at $12 I think I've upgraded it since the postage has changed like in the last week or two I've upped it to like $15 but this one was at like 12 and um $12 shipping now I don't do free shipping I don't have free shipping on any of my orders and the reason is is if the customer wants to return it they can return an item I don't I, as long as you know it was my fault I will refund all your money, including shipping. But if it's just you didn't want it or something like that, you can return it. I just personally um, won't refund the shipping because I have all of my information in there. You can ask me questions. If I ship it to you, I want to make sure I'm not out the shipping. So you can return it back. I'll refund your money, but not the shipping. So this was a $12 shipping on the international. Um, Normally, if I shipped it through eBay, it probably would have been more than $12. If I shipped it through Pirate Ship, um, which is just a third-party program that you've ordered or get labels through USPS. So it's still like legit label, nothing, it's just another website. They do a different, uh, I think it's cubic shipping rates and um, it's cheaper. So I, I did it through there because like international is typically a few dollars less. So. If you don't use it, check it out. Um, so this customer emails me and says, and I'll put up, I'll put up a message. The message you might be able to see it, might not, because it's so small. That he received it. It's at the post office, but basically, there's import duties, import taxes, and it's twenty four dollars. He wasn't aware of it. Um, so now he's thinking about not accepting it and having it returned to me. Um, and that, and then I would have to refund him. His second option was to completely is to keep it and then have us split that cost to get. So basically he would get free shipping then because that's $12. Half of it is 24 is 12 bucks. This way I'm somehow relieved. I'm sorry. I know it is nobody's fault. Please let me know. Well, it is his fault because if you order internationally from another country, outside the US. Um, I don't even know what the US is. This is. I don't order internationally. So, but if this is common enough, they know that they're gonna have to pay VAT taxes or import fees. And so in my descriptions of my videos, I put this message up in here, basically saying, I don't know what your import fees are. Um, we are not responsible for your import fees. We're not in charge of VAT taxes. It dish, um, anything that your country charges, you know, and I don't know what your charges are. So if you don't know, 
then you need to contact um, your post office. Okay, so this is my, my, my response was we don't cover the import fees or the taxes. If, if it's returned, we'll refund you. I'll refund you. You know, I get my watch back, I can resell it. No big deal. The only thing is, is that we do not refund the shipping. Well, he says, I see this is sad for me. Um, such thing has happened to me before. Okay, one. This happened before, so you knew this was going to happen. And the seller was willing to share the tax and lighten me a little. I just needed some help here because I was not prepared for this fee. It happened to him before, but he wasn't prepared. Hmm. And now he's trapped. It's twelve dollars. I don't know. And he wanted me to offer, consider, or offer him an alternative. And this is when I sent him the message of, oh, this is where, um, how long it takes. Import duties, taxes, and charges are not included in the item price or shipping charges. These charges are the buyer's responsibility. Please check with your country's custom office to determine what these additional costs will be prior to bidding or buying. And also, I even say deliveries may take long stated than stated due to custom clearance. Um... I'll actually put that in my, my um, description of this video so that if you, you can use it, you can copy it, whatever, edit it to your liking and you can use them in your, your listings. Um, so this guy replies back and says, um, yes, I know these factors. I know it is no one's fault. It is his fault. He didn't research it. And it's not my, and not your duty as me to help him. I was asking you for a little help in order to alleviate my sudden burden. I hope you understand. I, and I told him I understand, but we're not we're not doing a refund on his import duties, um, and that he's responsible to know what these are and to research it and be ready to pay for them. Um, and not it's not our duty to share it. Anyways, he did one more response and said that um, basically he's going to think on what he wants to do. And, um, I mean, I, I, I am sorry that he has to pay these fees, but he should have known. I mean, he knew. He totally knew because it happened to him before. But he's basically wanting free shipping. So, hold your ground. I'm normally a softy. I'm a total softy. Um, but $12 is a lot of money. Like, that's even... $12 is a lot of money. That's like, yeah, no. Um, so we'll see. He'll probably end up taking it. He might return it, but he might, he, he'll probably keep it because it's $12. And he got a great deal, even with the discount. So he paid $42 plus 12 for shipping. So that's $54 plus the 24. So it's 78. It's $8 over my original asking. He's still getting a good deal. Um, that watch was a lot more expensive originally too. It's a cute watch. Anyways, just make sure you, again, I, I personally don't do free shipping and make sure all of your, cover yourself for inside your description box. So if it gets escalated to eBay, you know, you can say I did give them the explanation in, within the listing. Um, I think eBay would side with you anyways, but I just always want to make sure. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. If you have a situation that happened to you similar, comment. We'd love to hear it. Also, if you like our content, click like and please subscribe. It's the red button in the bottom right corner. Okay, thank you and you guys have a great day and I hope you have great sales. Bye.